All right, guys. Jeremy from Church Mag, but I am not alone this time. Tim, Tim, welcome to Church Mag. Hello, hello. Thank you for welcoming me. So we've been talking a lot about the idea of wanting to do community stuff, and there he is. Yes, there. I am here and, for community. <laughs> for community, and we we gave a couple of early invites, and so we are just now in the process of giving a ton of ton of invites out for people to come on board. Tim and Sean have been here for a week and a half now. Yeah, yeah, I think it was early. I think last Saturday was the first day I jumped on. So Cool. And so last time everybody else saw, we're going to go look at some of the stuff and some community builds and just what's been going on there. Um, we're currently in my place, which Tim and Sean have designated the slaughterhouse. <laughs> and so this is the slaughterhouse. Oh, yeah. Um, this is my auto fish farm. There's an auto so, cow farm that... Can you show me how this auto fish farm works? Kind of like talk through like what it does. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of redstone, but essentially it's you get to look at the door. Um, you pull up your uh, fishing gear. You, if you go in there and close the door behind you, yeah, um, you would actually have to turn it on, and you have to fill all of your inventory slots except for one. And right here in front of you, um, this dro dropper actually feeds you uh, fish. Every okay. fish uh, pulls every couple seconds, and then you just throw it in the middle of the water, and this door um, will open and close, open and close, and once you throw the line in the middle of the water, then your uh, fishing pole stops, and or uh, the door stops, and so your fishing pole holds, and you just repeatedly cast, 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 which doesn't use up any of your durability until you actually catch a fish. Awesome. So you can kind of you can walk away, do an AFK farm, which. As you've already be reaped the benefits with your uh, bow right there. Yes. R1, 100 million other things bow there. It is amazing. And so basically that's what it does is it allows you to sit here and pretend to cast. And once a fish comes, it automatically pulls and recasts. That's so awesome. A big piece of it is the door. But I by no means take claim for any of the AFK stuff, which is why I didn't record any of it. Because you guys can just <laughs> look at the tutorials for it. I mean, I'll post links for those tutorials if anybody wants to ever see them. But it's just me trying to be like, okay, this step and this step. It's almost like nobody wants to watch someone put together a Lego set using the instructions. So oh, yeah. That's why I didn't record it. This is my half uh, alive horse AFK or cow AFK farm and chicken <laughs> AFK farm. There was three different creepers that blew up right to where I'm standing. Um, I came in to see a chest and it blew up and then cows were everywhere and now the cows are downstairs and it was just a mess. But we're good now. Well, and then an AFK reed farm. All these awesome. links will be in the description. Yeah. Oh. And Enderman got in. Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, he did. I've had a lot of problems with Enderman recently. Because it go FK and then they decide to have it. Does it still like if you uh, turn the cobblestone into stone and turn it into stone bricks? Is that a brick they can't grab? No, no, no. It can do all those things. Um, so it can work. I just use cobblestone because I'm okay. lazy and ah. <laughs> I gotcha. It's all indoors. It's not meant to be seen. The initial thought about this idea was going to be, why am I stuck? Um... <laughs> There we go. Um, one of the initial thoughts was this was just going to be a huge uh, apartment complex, but I just went for a big warehouse out front. Ah. So there's a whole bunch of shops here. You can see a whole bunch of different things. Tim likes the last one. The last I do. One, I'm, just, I'm just going for bows and enchanted books. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. Feather Falling 4, Falling 1, Protection 3. So people can come in and buy stuff a diamond or a couple of lapis blocks for a set. Mm -hmm. So, and a set is just one th single thing. So over there there's wool and reeds and you can get a 64 stack if you want and that's just one set. So, yeah. So, do you have a couple builds you want to show oh. off? Yeah, did you just show off my heroic efforts of dying? Almost dying. They just missed how amazing that thing was. <laughs> just, I'm not very good at combat. Yeah, I um, I 
started building kind of like a my house base area, um, yeah. and it is over here, and I'm more than happy to show that off. Um, cool. And for context, people, the actual castle is that way, so we are just north of the castle now. We are passing uh, the iron farm, which is not complete. We have one villager, so we need at least one more villager and breeding and go from there. I love those iron farms. Once we get that working, that's going to be yeah, very useful. And this pathway goes to Sean's house, which we'll look at in a second. But you're straight, or where do you? I go? I am over here diagonally. Um, oh, like if you go in between the two, I haven't made a fancy path or anything to it, so. So whose is who's is this right here on the island? Is that um, Sashans? Yeah, no, I think this is one of the new guys. Okay. Christopher, maybe? Yes. It must be Christopher. Yeah. Christopher is brand new. He's uh, one of the recent invites, and I got to just chat with him. Hey, bud. How are you doing? So we'll see if, if he pops on. That looks like a cool little castle. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty little build, so... I'm a terrible designer, so everything I design is stolen from people. If it's a <laughs> creative design, if it's redstone, I'm going to start doing original builds here in a little bit. I just want to get the supply going. I, uh, I tend to watch a lot of people who do like build tutorials, and yeah. so it's. I'm sure none of my ideas are original. Um, <laughs> Because it, it's you just get so influenced by other people and and what they do, um, but that's one of the fun things about you know pretty much anything is you take an idea that someone else is and maybe you can tweak it a little bit here and a little bit there. But mm -hmm. up on the hill is is kind of my main area so far. Um, nice, and you can see it just a little bit. We'll get up there. I decided. Um, a long time ago, whenever I started building in Minecraft, to mm -hmm. not not go for like the normal, uh, what's, just not a normal looking type of building, and try to do everything just a little bit different. Um, one thing about Minecraft and it being a blocky world is everything tends to take a square shape. So, oh. I, my friend, and I'll have to give credit to my friend. But he's really gotten into octagons and building octagons in Minecraft. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to build houses with an octagon shape, which this is just kind of the start of the house. Um, like the bridge, the little pathway here. Oh, yeah. This is going to go nice. up, and, and in here is probably going to be like the main, uh, the main area of my house. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll have all my storage room and, and everything like that in here as well. I like the view. And see people's houses. Oh, see the sunrise over here. Oh yeah, this is a nice moment. Kind of, kind of basking it. Oh yes, we could hold hands <laughs> <laughs> and eat potatoes. And eat potatoes. I'm a beef guy. Oh yeah, I got so many cows. Yeah. so many. You do have so many cows. Which right now, actually, so many fish. Yeah. And I'm wanting to do this as kind of like my second, I guess, basement. And just keep this open and overlooking everything and build like a little deck right here on this mm -hmm. little overhang. Um, but right now it's just where I hide and where I store all my stuff. Hmm. So. so do you go for the monster builds or you go for the, well, this is going to try to be realistic, kind of a house size. Yeah, this, this is more of a, a I mean, it... I have a tendency to start building and never stop, so there's a, uh -huh. a tendency for this thing to maybe turn into a, a big, uh, a big useless space. Um, <laughs> but for the for the time being, I would really like to to just make make it and make everything that I'm 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 building have a use, so it's not taking up too much space. And as I branch <laughs> out later, I can go crazy. So yeah. You go for functionality. Oh my goodness, this is a death trap for whenever we record. <laughs> <laughs> I was not gonna push you off. Yeah, I I, <laughs> no, I, I tend to enjoy building on high places. Um, I did fall uh -huh. a few times building the 
<laughs> you see the little octagon over there, the the edge that's hanging off. Like I fell off it a few times, so yeah, it's always fun. John just reported what two nights ago. He, I just had my first death, and I'm like, I had my first death in about five minutes. So. <laughs> I got many deaths dying yeah. trying to get your zombie. So mm -hmm. who is? Oh yes, yeah, so we were. We're going the long way about getting our villagers. Yeah. We're trying to convert zombies. So, so yes. here oh, is, you got one. Yes, he is here just oh. for you. Merry Christmas, yes. happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yes. What kind of trades do we got? <gasps> a leather worker. Huh, if only someone had a ton of leather to be able to trade. I don't want to do the trade just yet. <laughs> if only we knew someone who had a cow farm. <laughs> Yay, all right. Maybe we'll get an iron farm going now. There you go. Have you worked with the new breeding system? No, not at all. We'll see how it goes. I've never used it before either. So one of the big things I love about this is the collaboration and community aspects, which I think that we talked about. If you guys listen to the Church Mag podcast about gaming, we talk a lot about what gaming could offer as far as collaboration. And Tim, you're a pastor, right? Yes, yes, sir. Always looking for that unique way of trying to connect with people. And we yeah. think social media can do that for people, but we think the gaming can kind of take it to a different level. So that was really the whole 100% reason why we wanted to do the server. And if we never make any content out of this thing, that's probably okay. And so we'll get the side benefit of actually getting the content and trying to figure out what we can do with it. But I think that this is good. And I think we love to kind of test the waters and see what churches maybe even can make of it, but we'll see. And I know you had actually used Minecraft at one time to try to do a, a little sermon that we yeah. might never be able to show the world, but <laughs> it was good. Yeah, I've used Minecraft before um, to make videos for sermon illustration. Um, and, you know, just kind of, I told a parable and then I, I um, used Minecraft to kind of act it out. It it went over very well and, and uh, a lot of the younger people um, in the audience really clicked with it. Um, and even a lot of the, the older parents who were familiar with Minecraft knew exactly what they were looking at. Um, but more than anything, like people just responded being able to see um, things being played out right in front of them. So it had a really, really positive, uh, uh, positive turnout. Mm -hmm. And I'm always looking for ways to use Minecraft and gaming and, and uh, just... I don't know, more than just build relationships, but use it as, you know, an animation studio if you need to, or... Uh... Mm -hmm. I found secrets! Uh-oh, did oh, he not cover up his secret chest? No. Uh-oh. And, <laughs> and we filmed it, so... <laughs> <laughs> there yeah, are no secrets it. on this. No secrets. Well, I always enjoy the fact that maybe there's a secret base, and then you just randomly see a person's name, and it's like, oh... I found it. <laughs> yep. This is Sean's house. Sean is also one of the new people that jumped on, so he's been here for a little while. He, uh, Both you and him are crazy miners. I love it. I've never seen strip mining so quickly in uh Oh, in dude. Build. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of the first things I do is build a strip mine, although I haven't, <laughs> I haven't under my house yet, but uh, uh -huh. just absolutely. And I'm so, like, I'm not OCD about anything except for my strip mines. It's uh -huh. just really weird. Like, I have to have my strip mines set up the way that, that I'm used to so I know where I don't need to waste my time and I know where there's potential for good stuff. Yeah. And I love that it's every single one is exactly the same distance, and so you are efficient to a, to oh, a yeah. fault. Oh, yeah. Well, and there's always the argument, like, what's the most efficient, like, gap? Like, do you want two, every two blocks do you build a shaft, every three, every four? I'm a three yeah. guy, but all you four people and two people are wrong. It's three. <laughs> well, what's the reasoning behind that? Why why go that way? The reasoning is whenever you're, you're mining, ores rarely spawn in a single file line. They'll usually mm -hmm. spawn like too wide. Um, so if you go every three, 
um, you'll most likely see um, or that you wouldn't normally see if you just did you know like a gap of four or a gap of, of three so you're not having to mine everything you can just do a a one shaft down the middle go over three and you're not missing any ore at all because it it usually will spawn in um, you know sides of two and um, more than that mm -hmm. so that's the reasoning behind it the logic there there's a second horse that's hanging out with my horse over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so if you need a horse, I have one trapped. I do need a horse, but I, I've, I've never I've never had a horse in Minecraft. I've never mm -hmm. tamed a horse, so I want to wanna figure out how to do all that. I won't ruin the surprise for you, then. Yeah. <laughs> I had taken a break from playing and gaming and, and playing Minecraft, so a lot of the new stuff... Um, I mean, what we're in 1.8.3, yeah, right now, and so a lot of these things I'm very unfamiliar with. So, this is Chris Wilson's uh, tree farm. He is doing that for us. I do my own tree farm because I use up way too much wood with the shack and with everything. But that's my. I don't want to destroy your wood farm. But he's got a bunch of. I think he even has dark oak and uh, birch over there, so that'll be helpful. And there is someone's build over there but i think it at one point our server wasn't whitelisted <laughs> yeah unless that's yours is that your original no it one? is it is not mine i know someone did hop on who i'd never seen before um, yeah. before before the i guess whitelist was effective so yeah so i think that there was just someone over here that had built a temporary house that wasn't whitelisted so we'll probably tear that down and this is where you spawn right over here which when we first spawned it was no horses, no wood, and a bunch of just creepers and endermen. And you know, it was just like crazy. <laughs> it's always fun. Being so high. Yeah, I would have a. Uh, I don't know. It's one of my favorite parts of playing the game. Is just the first first few moments of uh -huh. of spawning in and figuring out where you're at and kind of plotting your course of how to handle everything and how to survive. Mm -hmm. and I, I do like that, but for me, it's the creativity and seeing what people have and are able to kind of go about. I love the just to be able to see what people kind of come out with with stuff. Oh, yeah. And just to see the interaction. I mean, the trading thing is right up my alley of, I want to empower you and I don't want to strip mine, so let's see if we can make a trade. So <laughs> you, can, you can have your crazy bow and I can have my awesome... Diamond collection. There you go. Diamonds. It's like my. Well, right now it's lapis, but that's all right. I need lapis too. Okay, I have a like. I absolutely despise lapis, and so now that you actually have to use lapis, because like uh -huh. I normally just throw it away, and so now I'm having to adjust my mindset to lapis is no longer useless. It's useful, and I every time I find it, I don't need to go. Oh man, lapis! I need to go. Oh, lapis. This can be yeah. used. Showing off all my goodies in my ender chest. I've got a fortune three pick, a couple of diamonds, a uh, couple stacks of redstone, and then I took the two enchanting books I wanted: feather falling four and efficiency four, and fortune three power four sharpness. Nice. Four. Yeah. I, if it would have been a looting three, I would have been extremely excited. But it was fortune threes. So. I think the other aspect of it's probably better. Can you do if? Wait, was it? Did I say efficiency three or four? Sharpness four. You can't use power four and sharpness four on a pick, right? Right. No, you can't. So I might just use that for my sword. I'm not sure. Unless I get a looting book with some stuff on it. This is my funny little humor. Church Mag Press on here, guys. <laughs> so. You can get all your ebooks that you ever want and any chance and we got the community and the and stuff. Oh, ebooks. Yes. Ebooks galore. You can get my new ebook now. Blah blah blah. No pitch. I don't <laughs> want to do that. I I don't have an ebook, so I I have many ebooks, but I don't have a ebook. And here's our There it is. Portal. Yeah. One of the one of the things we're going to do is we're going to start doing some let's plays, and so we're doing the Minecraft theology, which is what this is. Let's talk about 
just trying to be able to do community and what that means for a church. And I think that that's a, a theological bent on things, but then sometimes we just want to play games and it'll be the Let's Plays. And we don't know what the frequency of those will be, but yeah. Have you gone into the nether yet? I have not. I, uh, I'm i kind of afraid of, of the nether, but I know... Well. I, I got lost and I died <laughs> and I got lost again and lost my pickaxe and had to try to get back to the portal. It was a mess and I didn't film any of it, thankfully. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. We'll eventually get in there. There's a couple of good things, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Let's show off your strip mine and then we'll end it. Okay. Yeah, show off my strip so, mine. Tell me, the, tell me this. What is the one thing you're kind of looking forward to from your end as far as uh, someone that's jumping on board and you get to kind of just reap the benefits of collaboration as far as that's concerned? Yeah, I, I'm really just looking, I mean, besides just getting to know everybody, I mean, that's the the good answer in, in, in building friendship. Oh, I, oh, yeah, don't fall. Um, <laughs> I just absolutely love learning from other people. And, uh-huh. like, you know, I... I I'm the kind of guy that if you can like, you know, you could sit and tell me how to do something and I'll per, I'll forget it. Um, but if like you can sit down and show me how to do something, like I know you're big on redstone. If like you and I got together and worked on a redstone project, like that's the kind of things mm-hmm. I'm looking for is it's kind of learning from other people in areas that I'm not very gifted in. Um, mm-hmm. And I mean, just having having fun. Don't fall in there. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Coming down these stairs, at the bottom of the stairs, um, there was this lava pit over here. And I literally, the whole time I'm doing the diagonal, but all the way down, I'm like, you know what, one more. And I get over <laughs> here, and I wanted to put this uh, step in. And so I just decided, click, click, click. Yep. Up, I'm too high. I'm going to just build straight down, and I lost. It was just stone stuff, but yeah. I lost it. And it's just like, oh, no. So how about you? What kind of things are you looking forward to? Like what? What are you? I just want the community aspect. I mean, that's yeah. the whole reason I nagged and griped at Eric to say, "Let's do this. Server. <laughs> Let's do this." Server. And he's like, "Okay." I mean, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. And it's just like Church Mag's trying to get their ebooks going and new staff writers, and so he's doing a hundred different things, and I just kind of let it be. And then I'm like, "Hey, we should do that Minecraft thing." He's like, "For real? Are you sure?" And I'm like, "Yeah, let's do it." So. Yeah. And I'm, I just think, uh, you know, there's kind of a, you talked about it in your video a little bit, but there's just a stigma about video games and, and that it's, mm-hmm. especially from a Christian perspective, um, and I, I think, you know, a lot of us, you know, I don't know how old you are, but I know a lot of us younger generation uh, people are, uh, I mean, gamers. Uh, a lot of my friends are gamers. When I was a youth pastor... Um, early days, I used video games to, to, you know, just further relationships with the people I was with, and uh, I just think there's more of a use for it, and that it's, uh, I don't know, there are, what, 40, 42 different million, 42 million different people playing Minecraft, Mm -hmm. and if we were, as Christians, looking at that as a people group, an unreached people group, we would have... A, a team dedicated to to reach out missionally, um, and, mm-hmm. and sending missionaries to it. So, I don't know. I begin to ramble here, but I think gaming is I don't know, just one. It's fun, and two, it can be very very useful in just uh, interacting and and getting to yeah. know people. And if yeah. if you saw me sitting in a coffee shop sitting with someone talking you'd be like oh he's a pastor doing what a pastor is doing but if i'm <laughs> playing a video game getting to know someone i could understand um there you know should be a little what is he doing but at the same time <laughs> you wouldn't think twice about it if you knew i was using it to to get to know someone or even evangelize sure well and i think one of the fun things i I'm excited to see is you'll hear my baby in the background right now crying. And so that's one of the things is we're all <laughs> kind of fathers. Yep. We even have this joke right now about in Slack of our sons are going to watch all of us play and it's just going to be an interesting time. And I think that that's going to be a key part about this is we might have that background noise and I get to, I, I'm going to personally enjoy it because you get to kind of see what that's like. And 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my son as far as gaming, but I'm excited to see and even learn from you guys of this is what we're doing and this is how we're kind of approaching yeah. gaming and kind of figure that out for myself as well. So we'll see. Potty see training. Happens. We use Minecraft to potty train our, huh. our kid when he was three. Nothing was working, and we used Minecraft as a reward. That if he went to the potty, he could play. And That's awesome. It worked, so he can hmm. now pee and poop in the potty like a like a champ, like a Minecraft champ. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna end it here. Yes, Thanks sir. so much, guys, for watching. Tim, thank you for joining us. We're oh, thank you for having me. Goes. You, yes, it sounds like you might have your own stuff coming out for Church Mag, maybe a recording, or maybe even a. You like to do live streaming, so yeah, I uh, I, I have no some ideas. But... Yeah, I have some ideas of things I'd like to do that just kind of match some of uh, just the, what you're wanting to do, and and then my mm-hmm. own ideas as well for let's plays and mm-hmm. um, building tips and things like mm-hmm. that. Probably by the time this comes out, you'll have made your decision. So just look <laughs> yeah. for some tweets by us, and maybe even some blog articles saying, "Hey, we're gonna try this and just see what happens, and kind of go from there." Yep. I, I love... think it'll be good. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, and if you guys are interested in joining the Minecraft server, we do have our own page. And so go to Church Mag uh, slash, I think it's Minecraft, and just check out what we have it on there. Um, there's a whole page dedicated to what we want to do, and if you want to apply and see if you can get on there, uh, we do have a little bit of limit as far as number of people. And once we expand, we'll start have to have a little bit of a cost, but we'll get to that point. We'll see what happens. I'm excited to see what happens at least. Oh, yeah. Same here. This is very exciting. Yes. All right, guys. We'll we'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye-bye. Ah!